They fought for our country, risking their lives in some of the world's most dangerous places, and they are doing that, of course, this very minute. But some of these Marines suffered serious injuries. Now an event coming up in Lexington will honor the Marines while helping with their recovery. And here to tell us more about this special salute is Ted Bassett from the Marine Corps Coordinating Council of Kentucky. Welcome, sir. Honor to have you with us. We appreciate Great pleasure to be coming. here. Uh, many of these Marines, uh, uh, of course, as we say, they're fighting for our safety and our freedom even at this moment. And many have been returning over the last uh, few months. Many are still on the mend when they get back home, aren't they? And it, it's, um, we're pleased to report that May 23rd has been officially proclaimed Semper Fidelis Day by the governor as a tribute to these young men. Many of them have served two and three terms of duty in Afghanistan and Iraq, and they're in need of continuing medical assistance and guidance in trying to seek gainful employment. So this is an effort to try to spread the word of the need for us to recognize their valor. Looking at uh, some video is, uh, you know, we all uh, certainly are proud of the, their service and, and realize that we all owe them a great uh, a debt of gratitude for the work uh, that they're performing right now. What, uh, what kinds of needs uh, do they come home with? Well, there are all sorts of injuries. Some of them are limbs and eyesight. Others are mental stress. And this is a national endeavor of the Marine Corps of trying to reach out and help them make the transition from the structured military life into the civilian life. And this is trying to under, uh, trying to support the need that is not covered by the government. And uh, we've raised over $12 million in this effort in the last two years across the country. So this is something we're looking forward to. We have the Marine Corps band coming. We have several outstanding uh, Marine Corps generals and General Alfred Gray, who is a former commandant, and then Colonel Wesley Fox, a Medal of Honor winner, four Purple Hearts, which he will be representing the wounded Marine. This will be at the uh, beautiful uh, Keeneland Entertainment Center, uh, and I'm sure that uh, it's going to be a, a very uh, special event. If folks are interested in attending, how do they? They're they interested in attending. We will be happy to take care of them on at 6.30 on, when, on May 23rd. Friday, uh-huh. And uh, we're delighted. It's going to be a very interesting and patri patriotic evening. All right. We thank you so much for coming by. Always good to catch up with you, and uh, certainly uh, hats off uh, to you in this great endeavor. Thank you. A great pleasure being here. Yes, sir. Thanks to Channel 27 for yes, the patriotic sir. feeling. Thank you, sir. The Marine Corps Coordinating Council of Kentucky invites you to a fundraising event on May 23rd at Keeneland to benefit the Injured Marine Semper Fi Fund. This fund provides financial grants to injured Marines, service members injured while assigned to Marine forces and their families during their road to recovery. Join Marines from throughout Kentucky as they celebrate their common heritage and honor today's heroes. May 23rd at Keeneland. All proceeds go directly to the IMSFF. For more information, visit KentuckyMarines.org.